Hi, welcome to Nerd Cheek. This is Dustin again, and I'm going to talk to you about removing sidebars from your um, WordPress templates by using a little bit of code. And so in this one, you can see that the sidebar is on the right side, which we really don't want. Uh, this is the same for the right uh, for the sidebars on the left side. There's a couple pieces of code that we can use that I'll also put in the description so that you can copy paste them and use them. Um, to change your template. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the code. I'm going to go into the single page um, theme. So you're going to go into appearance, editor, and then click down and find the single page <clears throat> theme, which is page.php. I'm going to find this header that's right here. It says div ID main content. It's very important because we're going to need it in a second. What you need to remember is main dash content. We're going to need to find this information with a hashtag in front of it in just a moment in another page on the editor, which is the style sheet. So now I'm going to go into the style sheet, which I can do by clicking right into here. Um, so if you're inside of your WordPress install, it should be down at the bottom, which is style.css. So I'm inside the style sheet now. Inside the style sheet, I'm going to go into um, this area. I'm going to look for that main container, that main dash content, and I found it in here under containers. Inside of this, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click to change this width to 100%. So it's at 80 right now. So it's going to always make space for the sidebar inside that main area at 20%. At so I've just changed it to now. 100% was as 100%. So I'm going to click to save that. So you save that and update the file. Once that's updated, we're going to go back in and we're going to look for another bit of code inside the style.css, which is sidebar. And so right here, you can see that it's got this area um, to the wrong to the wrong size. We want to make it full size, so we're going to need to make it full size by um, changing it. We're going to do that by choosing. I'm going to use the same text that's here. I'm going to make the float none with 100 important. And this is a right sidebar, so I'm going to be putting it in here for the right sidebar to get rid of it inside of my page. So I'm um, putting it in there. I just copy pasted it in. And if you're doing the left sidebar, it's also under this blog sidebar area. So you do the same thing that I'm doing right here. It's taking it a second for that to update inside of this um, page I'm waiting for it once it gets in there boom it's in there I'm gonna press update file and then once this file is updated I'll go back into my um, page and just refresh it and once it takes a second for that to upload in the system once that's done then that should change the style of the page so that we can actually see it go boom no sidebar here that's it and no sidebar here. And really, folks, it's that easy. If you're doing something like this to remove the sidebar, you can see this is a full width page. And the full width page is also responsive in this theme. And it's done by simply changing that code inside of the theme. This, of course, is the Divi theme. It works the same way for other themes. All you have to do in the beginning is instead of finding main content, find what the name is inside of your theme. This one's main content. Again, you can find that by going to single page, Drilling down div ID main content. For others, it's like content dash area or content. So that's it, guys. Go in there, go to your single page, find the div ID for your main content, search down into your style CSS, make that change to 100% from whatever percentage it is. It's usually like 72%. This was 80. And then go into your CSS even deeper, go to the sidebar, make that sidebar where it is not functioning any longer in your blog post, and then boom, you've got what you needed with your full page um, reality. And that's it, folks. That's as easy as it is. Thanks for tuning in to Nerd Cheek. Don't forget, leave us some comments. Let us know if there's some other stuff that you want to see us do with WordPress, anything we can help you with. And then, of course, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.